Hey guys, it's Lacey. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how I became pregnant and a mom at 17 years old. I do get asked a lot how old I was when I had Maya, which is my oldest daughter who is 14. So I figured I would do a video on it, then you will get some answers. And I've just wanted to do this video for a long time, but it's just really hard to sit down and do a sit down video 95% of the time. And like I said, I do get asked a lot how old I was when I became pregnant and had Maya. So that's what this video is going to be about. So if you guys would like to know that story, I guess this will be like a story time video, then just keep watching. Okay, so if you guys did not know, Bernie is Maya's father. Me and Bernie met when we were 16 years old. We were both born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and he moved to Houston, Texas. I moved to Florida. So we basically grew up in Texas and in Florida, and about around the same time, we actually moved back to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So by the time we were in high school, when we were 16 years old, we were back in Pittsburgh, and in different high schools. There was an alternative high school that both of our schools went to. It was also a, like a traditional, I forget the word for it. Like if you wanted to take an extra class to get like your cosmetology license, your dental license, things like that, like different courses that you could take if you wanted to do that and you had all of your credits for your main high school, you could go to that school. I forget what the word is, pregnancy brain guys, it's so bad. But anyway, that was a, like a secondary school, I guess. I don't know guys, pregnancy brain is so bad. You could go there and get an extra education if you wanted to get like I said, a cosmetology license or whatnot. I started going to that school for cosmetology about halfway through my high school year. I had enough credits. I didn't have to go a full days of high school. So I went to the secondary school. I'm gonna call it a secondary school for the second half of the day where I took cosmetology. So I went to cosmetology and inside of the secondary school, there was an alternative school. The alternative school was for kids who had a reason that they could not be in their regular home school, high school. If you guys hear Bernie and Nina out there, I'm sorry, they are playing and they are yelling. They're out there with Maya, Alea, and Bernie, but they are just super loud. So I'm just gonna keep talking through them because they are super loud and can't really tell them to be quiet. So where was I? I completely forget where I was. So we had a homeschool high school and then the secondary school where like I said there was an alternative school that you could go to full-time if there was a reason that you couldn't be in your home school and there were also the courses where you could get your pregnancy brain your license for like dental cosmetology and things like that so it was just like a secondary education course that was also in the school and some people went to the alternative school and the educational courses. Some people just went to the educational courses and not the alternative school. It just depended on your situation at that time. So at that time, I was just going to the educational course for cosmetology and Bernie was actually there in the alternative school. I forget his reason as to why he went to the alternative school and not his home school but that was his situation so he was in the alternative high school all day and i was there for cosmetology for half of the day so about halfway through the year i met bernie and i met him through some people that i was friends with that i met and became friends with in the alternative classes it was kind of like the school was all bunched together and everybody knew everybody regardless of if you were there for alternative school or the other courses, everyone knew everybody. So eventually, like I said, I met Bernie through people and I had a car. I was probably one of the only few people that had a car. So everyone always asked me for a ride, rides home. And I had a lot of friends throughout my school years. I had a ton. I was friends with everybody. So by the time high school came, that was still the same situation. I had a ton of friends. I talked to everybody. So I was riding people home all the time. <laughs> they were leaving school with me and yeah. So I met Bernie. Eventually I started riding him home and we started hanging out. A lot of people told me to mm -hmm. actually 
not hang out with him i don't know they just they tried to warn me about him i guess he was like the class clown and i don't know a lot of people just warned me about him and said don't hang out with him don't you know make him your boyfriend and things like that and i was like don't worry i'm not going to <laughs> little did i know a few months passed and we're still hanging out we started talking on the phone hanging out a lot outside of school and he would just stay with me after school instead of me dropping him off at home and eventually he asked me to be his girlfriend and by then I was pretty close with him because we have hung out for so long and I grew to like him more than a friend at first I went into it just you know we were just friends and that was all we would ever be especially with all these girls telling me and it was all girls telling me to stay away from him and he's a player and you know just telling me to stay away from him so i did not have that mindset at all that i would be with him in a relationship ever until a few months down the road when we just became really close and that is what happened he did ask me to be his girlfriend and i said yes i don't know exactly what month what month was that I do have it written down. I think it was April, March of 2004 is when we officially became boyfriend and girlfriend and we have been together ever since. So that is such a long time guys, March of 2004. So that is when he asked me to be his girlfriend. I said, yes, we hung out all the time, even more than we did before. And you can hear Bernie and Nina, they're so funny. So I found out I was pregnant in September of 2004. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Yes, so September 2004 is when I found out I was pregnant and that was with little Miss Maya. My mom asked me if I was pregnant and she pretty much knew before I did how I have no idea motherly instinct I don't know but she asked me before I knew and I was like no what do you what do you mean what are you talking about I'm not pregnant and she was like are you sure and I'm like I'm pretty sure I'm not pregnant and a couple of weeks roll by and then I go talk to her and tell her that I found out I was pregnant go back a little bit when I found out I was pregnant I had probably like 10 people at my house 10 friends and I told them like I told you guys I was friends with so many people and I always had people over my house my house was like the hangout place my mom didn't care if people stayed the night I mean it wasn't like a big party house where we got into trouble and you know a lot of people were just always at my house we all hung out at my house everyone loved my mom she's the best and that was just where everyone hung out so i always had people there anyways <laughs> there were like 10 people at my house at the time and my mom was not there so i decided to tell them that i think i might be pregnant they were all pretty good friends and like i said i had a car so that wasn't a problem but they told me that I should go get a pregnancy test. So, me and my cousin, my cousin was there as well. Me and her went to the store and everyone left and they said to tell them when we get back home so they could come back over. Everyone wanted to know if I was pregnant or not. <laughs> so we went to the store, got the pregnancy test and I went home, I called everybody back over they all came back over and they were like did you take it yet i was like no i didn't take it yet i was super nervous i was super scared and i went upstairs to the bathroom and i took the test so i'm back downstairs and i tell them like oh my gosh i took the test it's upstairs waiting i'm freaking out and they were like well go look at it go look at it i was like you have to wait a few minutes so i waited a few minutes and they were like come on go 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 they were like rushing me to see if i was pregnant everyone wanted to know because it was a big deal obviously a huge deal and i was just super scared and my mom had already asked me if i was pregnant and i told her no because i didn't believe i was at the time and 
yeah so i went back upstairs to look at the test and sure enough there were two pink lines one was lighter than the other and i read the instructions and it said that one line could be lighter than the other and you could still be pregnant so my cousin was with me when we read the results everyone else was downstairs and she's like oh my gosh you're pregnant oh my gosh and yes i was pregnant and i just i was so blown away i couldn't believe that my mom asked me if i was pregnant and she knew before i did that really blew my mind she has those instincts and i have those instincts now that i'm older and i have had them many many times i get them from her <laughs> But she was completely right. I was pregnant and I went downstairs. I took the test. I showed everybody and everyone's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm like, I know. I couldn't believe I was pregnant. <sighs> yes, so I found out I was pregnant at 17 years old with Maya. And it was pretty scary at first, but there was nothing that... I could do I mean there was something that I could do but I didn't I didn't want to go that route or go that route so I didn't I and I'm glad I didn't I love Maya she's my oldest baby she's 14 and she just can't believe that that I was pregnant at 17 it wasn't very common to be pregnant at 17 when I was pregnant at 17 like it is now Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. So like I was saying, it was not very common to be pregnant as a teenager back when I found out that I was a teen, well, going to be a teen mom. So everyone was kind of freaking out over it and it was scary, but I knew I could do it. I had graduated school and I actually did not finish cosmetology school because I just realized that I didn't like touching people like you have to do in cosmetology like you have to do hair and makeup and facials and things like that and I just don't like touching people so if I wanted to finish I would and later on down the road I did get my associate's degree for a medical assistant specialist and that is what I have my degree in right now a medical assistant specialist so it's very possible to be a teen mom and go back to school and graduate college and get a degree in education and just follow your dreams accomplish your goals and your dream career or whatever you want to be when you get older so having Maya at such a young age did not prevent me from doing any of that let's back up a little bit because I just skipped ahead so after I found out I was pregnant and everyone went home that night I told my mom the next day I believe it was and she said I knew it I knew you were pregnant what are you gonna do what do you want to do and I was like I am going to be a mom I'm going to keep my baby obviously I'm not I could never have an abortion I just couldn't I knew that I wanted to be a mom and have kids since I was really young since way before I found out I was pregnant I always wanted to be a mom and have kids and I'm a mom <laughs> But I told my mom I was pregnant, like I said, she said she knew that I was pregnant and she was a little upset, she cried, and I kind of just, you know, I didn't know what to do, so I just stood there and I dealt with it, she dealt with it, and now Maya is her Maya baby, she calls her, she loves her so much. Once I had Maya, everything was different. It's different from when you find out you're gonna be a teen mom, and it's different throughout the pregnancy when you are a pregnant teen. When you have the baby, everything changes. Everyone's feelings change. My mom became happy throughout my pregnancy and she couldn't wait to meet her first grandchild. My mom was a grandmother at 35 years old, I believe, 34. My mom also had me at a young age, so she was a young grandmother as well a young mom and a young grandmother but feelings changed and we all love Maya I told Bernie a few days later that I was pregnant and he was like are you really nah -uh? and I'm like yeah there was nothing that we could really do about it so he accepted it and he was a father at 17 I was a mom at 17 a teen mom we were both teen parents at 17 years old 
and that's pretty much the story she is now 14 years old i struggled here and there i guess you would say but not to the point where i couldn't take care of my child i mean being a teen mom is hard balancing work i did already graduate high school i don't know if i threw that in there but i did graduate high school and yeah, I went on later to be a medical assistant specialist, graduated college, so she did not put a damper in my life at all. I am very happy that I had her and she probably kept me out of trouble because I was young and I didn't really experience too much. I wasn't a bad kid. I was a really good kid. I got good grades and who knows what would have happened if I didn't have her. I could have, like I said, went a different path and gotten into trouble like a lot of people that I used to hang out with did unfortunately that could have been me but Maya kept me Nina's crawling on the bed Maya kept me in check as a mom and I was able to be a good mom to her and a good person and never get in trouble I have a book. you have a book yeah Gosh. so that's pretty much my story of how I got pregnant at 17 and became a mom. I'm trying to think if I missed anything, but I don't think I did. That's basically the gist of it. And it's rare that teen parents stay together. I know that it is, but me and Bernie have been together. Like mind blowing. Like I said before, we've been together since March, 2004. That doesn't even sound right. It's just been so long it's 2004 not 2014 but 2004 if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more story time videos if you guys have any questions i could tell you guys through story times i could do a q and a anything that you guys want to see comment down below make sure you guys subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys on my next video thank you so much for watching bye